Hey everybody, welcome to this new video text press. I'm going to be showing you how to connect CDA dropshipping or whatever dropshipper supplier into your WooCommerce. So first of all, what you want to do is to go into WordPress.com and here what I want to do is to switch into the site that was created with Woo. Of course, my WooCommerce store. Once you are in here, what I want to do is to have exactly the same name, the right URL of my Woo. Uh, commerce account. In my case, my website is called Woo Almost Atomic Chaos. So I'm going to copy the link of this WooCommerce. I'm going to go into CJ Dropshipping and I'm going to sign in or register. The best solution that pays for you the best. In my case, what I want to do is to sign in using a Google account. The same Google account that I used to create my WooCommerce store. This one should be helping me a lot, but truly, truly a lot to get started with. So once you are signed in, go into the upper side and go for authorizations. So as you can see, we have lots of stores that we can choose. We want to aim for WooCommerce. So I click the, and then this one should be taking us into all the stores that has been authorized from WooCommerce into CTA dropshipping. As you can see, we have one of them. So what I can do is to hit into the lead and do exactly the same process that we just did before, which is uh, going into at my very first store, choose WooCommerce, authorization should be default, and the site URL, once again, copy and paste that in here. So I'm going to hit into authorize and this one should be taking us into the WooCommerce um, would like to connect to your store. I hit into approved. You needed to log in inside WooCommerce. If you don't see this, first of all, you needed to access into uh, WordPress and then later on you can go into the CJ dropshipping. So as you can see, I'm going to click into this annoying uh, button here. As you can see, we have the authorization successfully done. So CJ will help you to make dropshipping business much more easier. So I'm going to hit now into authorizations once again, hit into your WooCommerce and just make sure that my CJ Brush Shipping is now being enabled. And this one says authorized and activated. So I can start to add products inside my WooCommerce store from the CJ Dropshipping. And this is how we can do this really, really easy, guys. So just in case you have any question, do you can leave it down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And well, I will see you next time.